So if you've played Revival Eyes 2 Definitive Edition, you will know that that game has this. Select screen character announcements, something that regular Mugen doesn't actually have. So how is this possible? Well, through Ermaka's Mugen Hook. So in short, Ermaka's Mugen Hook is a plugin that simply allows you to change certain things. So for example, uh, lets you actually add animated portraits, uh, change um, game title names, uh, etc, etc. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Mugen Hook to add your own select screen character announcements to your own project. So we'll be working with three files in particular, uh, one being the mugenhook.cfg file, the other being sound and file which is in the CFG folder, and also the system.snd file which is in the data slash mkp folder. But um, before that, if you don't have Mugen Hook, I'll be linking uh, Ermac's GitHub uh, link in the, the, the description below. Basically that link will take you to the download link for the Mugen Hook. Um, that link is the official link. Uh, please don't use any other link, use that link. Um, if Ermaka has any updates, uh, that website should uh, update by itself whenever Ermaka releases a new update. So yeah, use that link instead. So as you can see, uh, the, the newest version as of this video is 0.4.2. And to download Mugen Hook, all you do is click on the 7z file, uh, it's highlighted on the screen right now. Just download that and then use 7zip to extract this f file here. And then after you extract it, everything in the contents of the 7z file should be extracted to your game, your Mugen game. Once you finish extracting the files, um, there should be two new files at the bottom of your game folder. That should be mugenhook.ini and mugenhook.asi. And then at the top, there should be a new folder called CFG. Uh, open that CFG folder up and there should be a sound and file. One last thing you need is the ultimate ASI loader. Now the ASI loader link will be beneath the mugenhook link. And uh, once you click on that uh, link, you scroll down and you click on ultimate ASI loader.zip. Once you download that, you want to open up the zip file. Uh, drag out this uh, file here, direct import 8.dll, drag it out, put in, and then drag that file into your games folder. So after that, you want to actually rename the dimport8 file, uh, rename that to simply dDraw. Once you've checked all of those, once you have all those files, that means you've successfully installed Mugenhook. There's also one more file, and that is the Mugenhook readme file. Um, you can read that file and just read the changelog and stuff, uh, what the Mugenhook is all about and stuff. So after you read that, uh, feel free to delete that file, you won't be needing it. So first things first, we'll need to actually open up mugenhook.ini with a uh, word application. I'll be using Notepad, but you can use uh, Office, you know, Microsoft Office if you want to, but I'll be using Notepad for this video. So I'll be uh, opening up Notepad here, and then I will drag in the mugenhook.ini file into Notepad, and that should open up the coding. So as, as you can see, the coding's right here. Um, we'll be working with the one at the very top, and that is bhook cursor table. Make sure that is true. If it's false, that means uh, you, you basically turned off um, the character six screen announcement sound effects. So turn it on, uh, put it on true, and then save it. So once you do that, once you saved it, you can actually quit out of that and then go to the CFG folder and then open up sand, uh, sorry, sound and file with the notepad. So here is the uh, coding actually for the character selection um, sound effects, the announcements. Um, as you can see, the first piece of coding at Ermac Capodio as a template is for Scorpion. Um, as you can see here, 0, 0, 1000, 1, 1001. Um, I'll actually explain what these numbers mean right now. So these numbers are split into six different letters. Um, the first number, 0, is A. The second number, which is 0, is B. The third number is C, etc, etc, etc. Um, Ermac has actually uh, kindly put what these are uh, letters actually and numbers actually mean at the very top the formats but um, I'll explain in detail uh, right now the first number is for row ID or what row number the character is on on selection screen and B is the column number for the character on selection screen okay so here I'm using R2DE as reference um, as you can see there's numbers in the photo uh, Scorpion at the very top he's the first character in the game or first on, on selection screen sorry um, he is always number 00, zero. Whoever is first is number 00. zero. That is because they are on row number 0 and column number 0. Shinnok here, for example, he is on row number 5 and column number 4. So he should have the first number 5 and the second number 4. That is what the first two numbers mean on that coding. Here's another reference. Uh, he is base MKP. The first character here is Johnny Cage. So he is on row 0 and column 0. That means he is number 00. zero. Um, Blaze, for example, he is on row number 3 and column number 9, so he should have the first number 3 and the second number 9. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so back to the coding. Um, the letter C and letter D, which is 1000 here and 1 here. Um, the letter C 
actually means actually stands for the uh, the group ID for the sound effect uh, in the system.snd. So all sound effects you actually use go into a system.snd file, um, and in the snd file, uh, sound effects are actually put into a group number and, and an element number or index number, and that is how they differentiate the sound effects in the coding. Um, I'll get into detail about what the sounds are and how to actually put them in them later, but for now, just for the coding part of this uh, video, um, just to keep in mind that the uh, letter C, D, E, and F is just for the coding for the sound effects itself. Also, um, the, le the letters C, D are just for player 1, so that's for the player 1 sound effect. Um, the letters E and F are for player 2, those actually play the player 2 sound effects, so you can have different sound effects for player 1 and player 2, but in, uh, in Revitalize, to actually I've used the same sound effect for both player 1 and player 2 because that's more easier. But if you want to have a different sound effect for player 2 and player 1, you can. Okay, so now you understand the coding, um, I'm going to show you how to, how to actually add in sound effects uh, to the game. So what you'll need is Fighter Factory 3 or Fighter Factory Ultimate. In this video, I'll be using uh, version 3. Uh, when it comes to Mugen, you will 100% always need Fighter Factory. It is essential. Without Fighter Factory, you can't actually edit any of the sprites or coding or whatever. So make sure you install that before you uh, go further. As always, I'll leave a download link for FF3 uh, in, the, in the description below uh, for you guys to download for yourself. Okay, so assuming you have that already, uh, simply open up Final Factory 3, click on the Sounds tab, click Open, locate your game folder, and then go into the game folder, and then from there you can go to Data, go to MKP, and then from there you can just uh, click on the System file, and then click Open. So here are all the screen packs sound effects. Um, Base MKP Season 2 Final should have 8, but it doesn't matter how much it has. What matters is the group and index numbers. These are what uh, differentiate each sound effect by their numbers, group index. Um, if we refer back to the sound and file, uh, I said before that there's coding for group and elements, and that is what that file actually looks for when it comes to the sound effects. So if you want to add your own sound effect, um, all you do is actually click on the green icon with the speaker and add your sound effect. Now make sure your sound effect is in a WAV format and make sure it's 16 bits. So I use Audacity to uh, create my sound effects and to convert my sound effects to uh, WAV 16 bit. But um, I won't go into detail how to do that, but um, if you want to know how to do that, there are tutorials online. So once you add your sound effect, um, make sure your group is number 1000 and your index is number 1. Um, that is because the first coding, as you saw in the sound and file, is in fact 1001. So if you want to add more characters and more um, select screen announcement coding, all you do is go back to the coding, uh, copy both the scorpion um, like coding light and also the numbers. Copy that, go beneath all that coding and then paste. Um, what you can do is you feel free to change the scorpion label to whatever you want. Um, that label isn't used in coding, it's just for your sake to know which coding is for who. Um, so for base season 2 final, uh, the first one should be for Cage, the second I think is Sonya or whoever it is, whatever, um, what matters is the coding itself, not the names. So when you do add more sound effects and more characters, make sure that the group and index number is same on both the coding and the system.snd file. If they are different, um, chances are, you know, it's gonna fuck up and then what you'll do, what, what you'll actually notice is that either the sound effect will not work or it will read another sound um, that's already there, uh, maybe. So make sure you double check, triple check that the numbers for the group and index is same on both the coding and the system.snd file. Also, one last thing, an empty slot or a slot that has no coding for it for the sound and file will use uh, by default the sound uh, 0, 0, the group index 0, 0. So um, make sure your default sound for selecting will be 0, 0. Okay, so I explained the coding, I explained how to actually add the sounds, and I think I'm done here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I'll reply to them, or if you want a faster reply, um, join my Discord server, and I will reply to all private messages there. Hell, even Ermac is there as well, so if you want a real creator's help, uh, he can help you if, if he's free, obviously. Also, if you want um, real updates, uh, constant updates, you can also follow him on my server there. He has his own channel. He can uh, he posts there sometimes for updates. But yeah, um, and that is the video done, guys. Um, good luck with the coding. Honestly, it's really easy. It should be easy. Um, but you know, good luck anyways. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching.